Sascha here for NetbookNews.com. Guess where we are? At the IDF 2010 in San Francisco. And I not only got this fancy new bag, even though I have to admit I really like the Qualcomm one. Yeah, it's a Swiss Army knife bag. It's way better. It is, it is <laughs> Intel. But that's a fantastic one too, and of course I'm going to wear it. Just to make sure that we named all our sponsors. You know what, besides that... Uh, What's inside the bag? Well, well oh. we just registered. Actually, we got a special bag. Yeah. And there's a little gadget in here. Ooh, a new netbook. That's not only one of these usual Acer Aspire 1D 255. Actually, that's a dual core one. So Intel Atom N550. That's uh, 1.5 gigahertz dual core mobile Atom. So you can't compare it to all this D515 or D525. And yeah, we've just got these uh, netbooks from Intel. And let's make a little quick hands-on. I'm so excited about mm -hmm. this one now, as you can tell. Um, here's a connector for your PSU, VGA out, to USB 2.0. I think it should be 2.0. Maybe it's even USB 3.0. Um, Ethernet connector, Kensington key lock, another USB. Uh, jacks for the microphone, the headset, and a 4-in-1 card reader. Let's take a quick look at the battery, because that looks to me like a... First of all, it looks to me like a test to even get it out of there. Um, oh, that's a 49 watt hour battery. So, with, with a dual core N550 and the 10 inch, we should expect to get some, I, I would say like five to six hours of battery life, mm -hmm. which is a pretty uh, positive guess, I think. Um, besides that, let's take a quick look if there's also a SIM card slot. No. No. Okay. I'm so good in this. It's starting again. <laughs> It's been starting again. Steve is already laughing on the other end of the corner. So let's take let's take a look at the at the keyboard and look da 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 and 550 for the win. Um, it's a shiklet keyboard and we're pretty familiar with it because we had this already on the 521 and on the 533. 10.1 inch uh, display, glossy display. Unfortunately, I think that's a 1.3 megapixel camera. Resolution should be 1024 by 600, and I, I mean, I would love to get an HD display finally. And besides that, it's, it's absolutely similar to the version that we had uh, with Android. Again, it comes with Windows 7 starter, has one gigabyte of RAM, and a 250 gigabyte hard disk drive. And let's see if it's recharged. Here we go. Let's do a quick boot up. There we go, and 550, and let's exit this. So I can tell you right now when it's available for you guys. I'm pretty sure it should be, it should be in the shops around October. And Acer will definitely have a very competitive price. I'm guessing like 349 bucks, 349 euros at least. I'm not so sure about the US. Um, so Acer and Asus, they will start, um, well, their entry-level dual-core Intel Atom netbooks will start below 350 euros, or maybe even below 350 dollars. Anyways, you know, that's, that's my first impression, my first little hands-on of the new Acer Aspire 1 D225 at the IDF 2010. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching. Yay.